I've been going absolutely wild this year. I have bought so many pure, call them F0 if you want, artificially inseminated breeder queens. In this video, I'm gonna show you my latest two breeder queens from Carl Lockyer. So massive thanks to Carl for sending me these queens. I'm gonna overwinter them here, and I'm gonna put them to good use next year, grafting from the mothers to give myself amazing quality UK mated daughters. I've got two lines I'm gonna show you today. First one is a 125 line that was used by Peter Little back crossed into itself i'm really interested to see how that one gets on and then the second one is a pure lagustica line back crossed with that same 125 line from peter little amazing to see that peter's name lives on and people are continuing to maintain the same genetics that peter used while he was rearing his queens i'm so excited to see how they're going to get on alongside all of the other pure queens that i've got at the moment i've been amassing an amazing collection of different breeder queens different pure artificially inseminated queens different island mated queens lots of different genetics i'm going to take daughters from all of them next year and we'll do some sort of crazy competition to see which one is the best so i'm halfway through an introduction at the moment i've taken out the f1 buckfast queen that's on its way to someone else i've introduced the artificially inseminated queens and i'm just waiting to get to the point where we get to day eight where i could knock down all of the cells open the tab and then i'll leave the queens to do a slow introduction today's video though i'll pop my bee suit on i'll get inside one of the colonies i'll show you the queen and talk to you a little bit about why i think the daughters are going to be fantastic so this is the colony that i'm requeening with my artificially inseminated queen from carl a couple of days into the requeening at the moment so all I'm going to do, just going to open the colony up, pop out the cage, show you the queen. It's a little bit of a miserable day here today. First day in ages that it's been like 15 or 16 degrees. Not a huge amount of activity from the bees going and flying, so they might be a little bit grumpy. We'll get inside though, take a look, see how they're getting on. So there's my colony of bees. These ones here sitting on a double brood configuration. I generally try and condense my colonies down, but sometimes you just need to give them a little bit more space. These ones here have put themselves in a very vertical format and ignored some of those frames over there. So I'm leaving them on double brood over winter. You can see I got my Apivar strips in nice and early as well. Let's get that queen out now and see how she's getting on. So there she is. This is the artificially inseminated back cross 125 line. And check out the bee's behavior to her find this very interesting i hear people talk about it a lot saying oh that's nice behavior or oh that's bad behavior you know what i don't think it really means anything i've seen really nice kind gentle behavior and then they kill the queen and i've seen horrible aggressive behavior through the cage they're hopeless to queen us and they accept her so i wouldn't read into this at all if you wanted to have a look at it and say what kind of behavior is that i would say yeah that's probably not the best behavior really swamping them that's kind of what you'd expect though on day two of a requeening in that they're still thinking we want our cells to win we're going to kill this queen inside so as i said wouldn't be too much into that as long as you pop the cage on day eight when the colony's hopelessly queenless no issues whatsoever and in the meantime the nurse bees will have no other choice but to feed her through the cage they don't know any better they just see a queen and they want to feed her so this could be nurse bees rushing in to feed her could be bees trying to get in there to kill her more than likely going to be a mixture of the two so there's my queen she's a yellow queen 2022 got her number disc on she's not very old this one but she's old enough to have got some pheromone she started laying nice pattern the mating's gone well I think she looks really nice, like the colour of her. So, so excited to see how this line turns out. So there we go, another addition to the ever-expanding crew of breeder queens. The more breeder queens I get, the more I can produce good quality F1 daughters, which I can use to sell to people in the UK, but I can also use as drone mothers to boost the good quality drones in my local area. This one here, I'm so excited about. 